Right now, let's go outside. Dang, it stinks out here. It smells like burning metal or burning car out here because the foundry, which is right by our shop, is burning stuff. I don't know why, but this is what we're going to video. You guys probably remember last year this thing, Hydra locked up, and never took the plugs out of it. And I actually kind of have a feeling that the has a crack in the block from it having water in it for so many times and just thawing out. I'm gonna try to get this thing running. I don't know if it will, but I don't know if any of the spark plugs will break. I really hope not, but I ca I put that bag over it actually, actually so it didn't get more water in it. And I thought that was a really good idea. Here's your fuel filter. I mean, it was, it was running last time. There's the coolant thing. I don't even know if it's got coolant in it. I know the reservoir thing's cr or, Yeah, the reservoir radiator thing is cracked. Come on. I don't think there is any in there. I had cool in it for so long it I'm surprised it's still going good. Oh there she is. Oh yeah, I forgot I took one of the spark plug wires out of it last time I was out here. Or just took it off the spark plug. Let's look the inside Yeah that mirror broke so there's no battery in it. I took it out, put it on the charger. Don't I think it's still got good voltage, but that tire got so dry rotted that it blew up. So tire's no good. The other tires are still good though, I mean. Frame is pretty good on this thing still. Well, let me go back inside the shop and get some tools. I'm waiting for my dad though. Look at that tire. That's why the other one blew up because look, there's a lot of dry rot cracks in it. Got it open. My dad need my dad needs to get that freaking rust repaired up that's starting to happen on my dad on the truck. Get this thing moved out. Now I can idle out here. I'm still exporting that video. 9.6%.
I've been having some problems with it. I'm using my phone hotspot, so there we go. Gotta love your six liter power strokes. Yeah, we're gonna get ready to go get the spark plug socket. Because the word red, red truck. Yeah, guys, I should have showed you this, but well, I don't know if you've seen it, but this is the red truck's old radio. We put a new radio in it. You, you notice on this radio only preset one and two works, but the other radio, it's only got preset one, four, and five. So that's not cool, but the display works. We're gonna see what the heck's wrong with this radio. See why it quit. Well, I mean, it still worked, but the display was dead on it. So it was like that when we first bought it. Dang starters and freaking wherever. There's more starters. More starters. My dad's thinking about putting uh, the tires that are on the frame of the 67 onto the 03 Crown Vic because those tires are junk. These tires are brand new, so. This one's really good. Look at that. This would be a good spare tire right here. It's got great life on it. It's still spinning. Well, after my dad's done doing what he's doing, I think I will resume this and go to the U-Haul. So we're back, going back to the 6,000. It's actually a few hours later. That 6.4 was the same one with that with the bad turbo that we that I tried. That I made three videos on of us trying to get it started, but the engine might be going on that thing. Who knows? I have a feeling that's what that noise is. Is the engine? But who knows? What, Dad? I noticed this thing doesn't have any antifreeze in it. No antifreeze? No. Nope. So the oil's definitely over full, and it's. I doubt the engine's good because I saw some sludge on it. Show you right now. Yep. That's all sludge and crap. I doubt I doubt this engine's gonna be good. Cause there's some sludge on it. I I just close it up. I don't want to mess with it. I know it's junk. It might not be though. I was just I I'm just curious. It's been like that too long, it's been in the winter freeze thought. I mean <laughs> I'm just curious. You probably broke it. Mitsubishi. Did you break it? Mm. Huh? No. I am surprised it's not broken. You're not going to keep it out? Mm. Huh? No. Why can't we crank it over? I want to see how much water comes out of it. If it even does. Why do you take that thing off after you just loosen it? See, uh, so you don't have to worry about. That one has water in it. It's full of water. Yeah. Did that other one have water in it too? No, it didn't look like it did. Okay, that's why you put it back in. I bet it's just the back ones that have water in it. It's quite a bit. I do. I do know the. I took the battery out of this to charge it last time. It's at least it's not hard to put in. That one's got water in it. Is it as bad as that one? Same. Huh. 
I'm surprised the spark plugs don't look horrible. Ow, ow, crap. I need to get my foot out of the way next time. Which one's, what, what, no, what cylinder number is that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I need a shorter extension. Okay. Well, I'm, huh? What'd you say? Okay. I think I took them all off actually. <laughs> I need to try getting this other side out for the. I just broke one of the spark plug wires. Yeah, we probably would have. I probably would have known that. Dang ladybug. This truck just needs a diesel. Man. Are you thinking about putting a diesel in it? I mean, do you think it's in good shape? Yeah. I mean, look, look at this. Fr the frame is like got like kind of like no rust on it. I mean, the, the blue's got a perfectly good engine on it going here. Are you thinking about it? Because if you put a diesel in it, you don't have to worry about filling it up every day. Well, I mean, like you don't, I know you don't drive it every day, but you wouldn't have to worry about sucking fuel that bad. Did you get all the spark plugs out? Oh. Take the piece off that broke on you. Oh, this one don't have, this one looks actually really dry. Couldn't something bad happen if you uh, try to crank it with like, I, don't know what I mean, yeah, probably. You probably can't even take the plug out. So, if you put a diesel on this, do you think it'd take a lot? It'd be a lot of work. Anytime you change a motor over, it's a lot of work. Is this thing even worth putting a diesel into? Yeah, well, it's an old 88, that, and it's got low mileage. Only 162 on it. These spark plugs they were brand new in 2018, but they're all rusted from water. I need to get the battery for this. I am surprised none of the spark plugs have broke yet. Want well, to see the rubber piece in there? Yeah. It's supposed to keep them from breaking. Oh, is that why the last ones broke when you took them off when you fixed it because uh, you didn't have a rubber piece on it? Could have been. That one definitely had water in it. Yeah. I mean, it's not as bad as I actually thought it would be with the spark plugs. I mean, they're rusty as can be. Curious what this thing will do. Might have to get a little clip of it, but...
You got one more spark plug to take out? I'm about to get the battery for it. At least it's not hard to hook on. I think I'll get it now. I'll be... Huh? That one battery you said was good? Yeah, because I... Got a key. I have a... I have a big doubt that that's not going to do anything. Huh? Yep. I'm going to take it out of gear, of course. That's not a key. Nope, it's locked up tight. Do it again. Battery's good. Huh? Battery might be dead. Battery's actually alive, so I'm surprised. So they don't die. It's probably got too much gosh dang water in it. Shows a little bit of gas, but it's out pretty much. The radio works. Still, nope. Oh, they should listen to the turn signals. I think my dad's going to try to turn it over manually and then probably use the rest with the key. This key should work. How does that key not work? Because it worked before. It's this key. It's so weird. It's probably because it's worn out. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see what my dad got the right size. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, moment of truth. The radio, yeah, it's not connected to the battery, so even if it did have a battery left in it, the radio would not stay at 12, it would stay at 12 o'clock. Can't believe this key don't do anything. Okay, try and bump it again. Just bump it. Hold on. I'm gonna roll the window down. Close the door. Nope. Did it turn at all with the wrench? sucks just what we figured it was worth the try though I mean it turned a tiny bit I mean but it, my dad's still thinking about putting a diesel because I mean I mean, but the body, this thing's still in good shape, so my dad might put a diesel, it's probably gonna put a diesel on this, and then it, it wouldn't have any problems with it. And it'd be, it'd just be a good one again, but this 450, well, I don't even know if it's a 454. It might not be a 454. But, I mean, the brake switch doesn't. I don't know if the headlights work. I can't. No, yeah, the headlights on this do work. 
I think it's just one of them. Well, well, I do have some startups on it if you guys want to see the previous startups I have done on it. What a freaking waste of time. I don't know. I'm surprised my dad even did that. See if it works with the door. Oh, frick. This key used to work. It's this key. She's done. Okay. It's a GMC.